We're staying on top of breaking news this noon. A chemical leak in the he Kellogg headquarters has put at least 23 people in the hospital. 24 Albert News 8's Joe Lafergi just arrived on scene in Battle Creek. He's live now with more. Joe? Emily Sue, uh, yeah, 23 people transported to the hospital. That's the latest word from Battle Creek uh, Fire Department after a Freon leak here in the headquarters building on the Camley Place here in downtown Battle Creek. Uh, that 23 people, those 23 people, 18 transported to Battle Creek, Bronson, another five to Oak Lawn and Marshall. Uh, some of those folks uh, complaining of uh, difficulty breathing, a lot of them taken just out of precaution. It is unclear now if any of them were actually kept in the hospital after being checked out or not. We're going to try to get some answers to that as soon as we're able to talk to officials who are still inside dealing with this. Uh, McCamley between Jackson and uh, Hamilton uh, was shut in Hamlin, I should say, was shut down for a time, but it is now reopen to traffic. As, as you can see, the fire department still has the uh, entranceway to the headquarters building here blocked off on McCamley. Uh, BCFD got the call about 1040 this morning. At that point, they evacuated or had evacuated the north portion of what's the uh, north tower, what they call uh, uh, the north tower of the Kellogg's headquarters here in down in Battle Creek. Uh, it happened in a kitchen, some sort of Freon leak. Uh, it is unclear if uh, that had anything to do with any production here. Uh, we're going to get those answers. We're hoping to, take to talk to uh, Battle Creek Fire Department officials as well as Kellogg officials as soon as we get the chance and maybe kind of sort all this thing out and give you an update as well on those people transported to the hospital. Look for reports throughout the day on woodtv.com as well as live tonight at 5 and at 6. But right now we're live in Battle Creek. Joe Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8. Okay, we'll continue to track what's happening down there. Joe, thank you for the latest.